writes down what he has seen. Excuse me, the spy is, writes down what he has seen in this Hessian century is supposed to deliver the message directly to Colonel Rawl. Okay? That the Americans are coming. So th it works out. Okay? The loyalist spy writes down what he's seen. He gives it to the century, Hessian century. And he takes it in and gives it to Colonel Rawl. And what happens, Cody? Do you remember this part? And does he just like brush off? Like kind of. He he's busy. He's he's having a good time on Christmas. He takes the note, doesn't look at it, sticks it in his pocket. Okay. So the colonel is busy having a conversation with his officers. He's enjoying Christmas, and simply puts the note in his pocket without reading it. Well, to make a long story short, Washington and his men attack Trenton. The Hessians are caught completely off guard. And Colonel Johann Rall is among the first Hessians to be killed in this American attack. All over taking the note and putting it in. How many breaks have the Americans got here? Two million. God, it's incredible the amount of breaks they've had. Luck. You know, luck sometimes is your best asset. So the following, following the crossing of the Delaware, General Washington decides to go big. He and his men attack Trenton with the 2,000 soldiers. The Hessians are caught completely off guard, and Colonel Johann Rall is among the first Hessians to die in the American attack. Well, what do you think the British do when they receive word of the actions at Trenton? What does General Cornwallis do? He has, and he sends reinforcements immediately to Trenton. They arrive on January 2nd of 1777, and Cornwallis plans to attack the Continental Army early the next morning. Okay? So they have this victory on Christmas Day. Word gets back to Cornwallis what has happened. He does get angry. He immediately sends British reinforcements to the Trenton area. They arrive in Trenton on January 2nd, of 1777 and his plan is to have his British army attack the Continental Army early the next morning. You know what Washington does after the victory and he keeps his campfires burning and he simply slips away. And so when the British get there to fight them, all they see is smoldering campfires. Now these events of Trenton are a stunning victory for the Continental Army. I mean, this victory gave a huge morale boost for the colonial cause, and it kept the revolution alive and allowed the Continental Army to grow. Because after this victory at Trenton, is he going to get more men joining the cause? He is. And so after the victory at Trenton, Washington decides he's going to go on the aggressive again, or the offensive again, and he defeats the British then at Princeton as well. So he gets a victory at Trenton, he slips away before he can be attacked by the reinforcements, he gets more men to join the Continental Army because of his success at Trenton, militia are involved as well, they go to Princeton, which is in New Jersey, and win another victory. Well, he continues with his raid in New Jersey, and he wins another battle at New Brunswick. So he gets three military victories in New Jersey, Trenton, Princeton, and New Brunswick. Now because of these three victories in New Jersey by the American Continental Army, British General Sir William Howe pulls his troops out of New Jersey and brings them back to New York. So we have spanked the British Army three times in New Jersey, Trenton, Princeton, New Brunswick, to the point where Sir William Howe takes out the British troops out of New Jersey and sends them back to New York for protection. 
Now this victory in New Jersey gives Americans new hope that they can win battles against the British. And as I mentioned, Washington's Continental Army grows as many colonial men flock to join his side. And if you think about this whole thing in general, kiddos, who makes this happen? Little known John Honeyman. If John Honeyman's not in the picture, they don't get the information about the Hessians. In turn, Honeyman goes and gives false information to the Hessians about the Americans. And here we are with another big break. And another person in American history that most people have not heard about saves the day again. So, we'll watch video on this.